we've already talked about how long it takes to get to Mars and how carefully timed your trip needs to be. Not to mention all the health risks you might encounter along the way. But let's say you think all of that's worth it. And I would agree with you. You still want to go to Mars. So who's going to take you? No offense, but you're probably not building your own rocket. So you're going to need to hitch a ride with somebody. And here's where the waiting begins. Under President Obama, NASA's current plans call for a Mars mission in the 2030s. That replaces George W. Bush's previous plan, which also called for a Mars mission in the 2030s. We can't say for certain what the Trump administration's plans for Mars might be, but it's probably going to be sometime in the 2030s, because that's where we've been focused for a while now, even if we haven't yet given NASA the kind of funding necessary to get the job done. More on that in a sec. Private efforts like Elon Musk's SpaceX are more optimistic, claiming the first humans could leave for Mars as early as 2024. But given the technical, logistical, and medical challenges involved, probably best to believe it when you see it. Especially since they don't have remotely enough money to get the job done. Which, fine. Let's get into it. How much is it going to cost? Estimates range from around 30 to 100 billion dollars. But it's very possible the final cost will be much more than that. In the long run, we can make that more affordable by reusing the rocket and the Mars lander but you can't get to the red planet on the cheap. Elon Musk says the cost of a ticket to Mars could someday be as low as $200,000. But again, that's basically a pipe dream at this point. Your better bet is probably still to be the lucky astronaut chosen by NASA or another space agency to go to Mars. After all, they didn't send the bill for Apollo 11 to Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. So after all that, why do we want to go? Because it's the next frontier, definitely not the final frontier, of human space exploration. And here's where it's actually okay to compare Mars to the Moon, because everything John F. Kennedy said in his famous speech at Rice University still applies here. We choose to go to the Moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. And, as Kennedy pointed out, the mountaineer George Mallory was once asked why he wanted to climb Mount Everest. Mallory replied, because it is there. The risks are real. Mallory died climbing Mount Everest after all. But to quote Kennedy, space is there and we're gonna climb it. And the moon and the planets are there. And new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. Mars is there. <laughs>